So for this craft, you will need a square block, Mod Podge, a foam brush, scissors, and the pictures that you're going to put on your block. So the first thing I did was cut out my images. I have a bunch of scenes from Maine. You can use your own images or the ones provided in the craft bag if you pick a craft bag up from the library. Next, you'll take your wooden block, your Mod Podge, and your foam brush. And what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to pick an image and then we'll put a nice layer of Mod Podge on one side of the block. And then we will place the image side down on the Mod Podge. So we'll do that again. A nice layer of Mod Podge. Then we'll pick an image. And we'll put that image side down on the Mod Podge. Make sure it lays flat. So we have let our block dry for a little while and now we're going to wet it and rub. So I found and uh, you'll see it here. You want to rub very gently or you'll rub some of the image off. And I found that um, the better way to do it is to wet your hand, your finger and rub against the white paper. As you can see here, I rubbed some of the image off. Another thing is that you won't, uh, you won't get all of the white paper off and that will be, that'll be fine. Um, because you're gonna add another layer of Mod Podge, you won't notice that there's a little bit of white here and there, uh, white paper here and there. Um, as you can see, I wet my finger here, and I'm rubbing, and sometimes it takes a couple of tries. <laughs> so now I have rubbed as much of the paper away as I think I can get, and let my block dry. Um, so as you can see, there are some spots where I rubbed the image away with the paper by accident. Uh, and that's why you want to be very gentle when trying to get the paper off. Uh, you can see that the puffin image went really wrong. <laughs> um, and this is an example of you're not going to get all the paper off. But um, for the most part, it came out pretty good, I think. So now on to the next step. So your final step, after letting your block dry completely, is to brush on some Mod Podge over your photos. And that will seal it so you don't rub your photos off of the uh, block. And here is my finished block after I've let it dry. I hope you enjoy and see you next time.